New game. Why is this, like, why is there the gray box? The Lahandran Imperium, I know I swapped you around a little bit. <sighs> I have actually not looked at Welcome to the Game. So, we're not going to make a comment on that until I actually look at it. Cutthroat Politics, Imperial Cult, Fanatical Authoritarian, and Spiritualist. Natural Sociologist, Thrifty, Intelligent, Sedentary, and Non-Adaptive. Sedentary does not matter when you're Fanatical Authoritarian. This game is not eligible for achievements because we can actually save. We're going to have... 25 AI Empire... No, we're going to leave it at the base 20. Keep it at 5 Fallen Empires. Keep it humongous. Keep all the costs the same. Keep Crisis Strength at 2 times. And get the mid-game event at 2,300 and end game start year 2,400. There's not going to be scaling. Normal AI aggressiveness. Keep it at Ensign. Random placement. No advanced neighbors. We're not going to do... Iron Man is off. Hyperlane Density, we'll just leave everything here the same. There we go. I was wondering why it looks so weird. So, Lolahandrin Imperium 2.0. Yep, this is a sci-fi civilization, basically. It's in real time, though, which is one of its key differences. And if you see me pausing a lot, that's because I have a lot of... That's because I have a lot of things to do. So, in the new Stellaris, the Lolahandran Imperium, in the eons since the first primitive Lolahandran communities took shape in the dense jungles of Wilhoba, our civilization has spread and prospered. Many false prophets took it upon themselves to offer spiritual guidance to our people as we advanced through the ages, but the true faith prevailed. The last heathen strongholds were vanquished after several bloody crusades, uniting us all under the holy will of a single divine leader. Now, after the discovery of the Hyperlane Network, the finest minds of the Lollahandran Imperium have finished development of the first hyperdrives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Begin. We begin the game paused. Where did we spawn? No, 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 no. We're not unpausing yet. I've got things I need to do. Okay, we're at the basically galactic south. We have dust clouds to the east, which can have good things. I don't think there's anything, e like, decent anywhere nearby. Oh, we have an expanse right here. So we... Did we spawn in a nebula? Oh baby, we spawned in a nebula. So for those who don't know... Uh, well, for those who've never played the game before, as I said, this is like a real-time strategy sieve. Can you have a Galactic South? Technically. The map itself does not rotate and remains consistent. So for everything here, this is Galactic South, this is Galactic North, this is Galactic West, this is Galactic East for the purposes of the game. We have spawned down here, in this star claw, in this nebula where sensors cannot pierce, so we are hidden. I am really happy about this overall because that means I'm not going to get a lot of AI empires to begin with, but that also means I'm not going to see a lot of AI empires nearby. So I would, I'm not the greatest when explaining how the game works. For that, I think I've explained it once before in a previous video series I did on this with the same empire. It's just this was in the last patch. That is on my YouTube channel. Shameless promotion aside, but if you're here on YouTube already, this is the beginning and here I welcome you. So let's start choosing our research. Do I want to make my ships amazing? Oh, Timmy, what? What is going on, Temmie? Why are you losing your mind? Give me capacity overload because I like energy. Oh my gosh, you never subbed to the YouTube channel. <laughs> That's where the majority of my content is. <sighs> Off what trading base? That's a starbase building? Yeah, I'll take it. That actually seems like it'd be amazing. Oh my gosh, my research. This research is gonna take 
I have a Discord. I should put it down in the description at this point, although I tend to leave it for Patreons. I'll probably just make like a separate section for Patreons because I kind of need more people in the Discord slash I'm very lazy about doing anything on social media. We'll get an engineering facility. All right. So let us start off by sending off our ships. So a few changes for those between the previous Stellaris and the new Stellaris is that you can't send any other type of ship until you've actually explored the nearby area. However, you also start off by having your home system discovered instead of having to discover it. It actually makes sense. Could you call Twitch and YouTube social media? Kind of, because you can have a message, but it's not that easy to have a full, like a standard debate on it. Where's the minerals? Because the minerals is more important. Okay, it's right here. Um, build the minerals for me, and then I want that physics research underway because I need physics. Well, hubba, what do we got building-wise? Oh, good lord. It's a 16 world. We're going to change that as soon as immediately. Yeah, you're a subscriber. I wouldn't, like, I'm going to probably allow everyone into the Discord. Just is the normal state of things, just so I can have a small community there, because I'm very lazy about that sort of thing. Do I have anything of modules I could build? No, I don't need the shipyard anchorage. Oh, growth of the navy, trading hub we're probably going to get, because I kind of want to get some resources. It's not that barely anyone uses it, it's I don't use it and I haven't invited people there. Alright, let's start going along the fastest rate. Uh, what does our air look like? I know I can't get rid of my air, but... So my current leader has Starbase Module and Starbase Upgrade cost. And has a lot of science ship build speed benefits. The next one is going to be good for edicts and good for buildings overall. And I have 0% piracy risk. Hmm, I shouldn't have started building those other buildings. Wait, what? Three buildings right next to me. Or three planets right next to me. This could actually be really good. Oh god, Temmie. Well, we are not alone out there. What alien life did we discover? It's a planet. A tornado and poor minerals. All these planets are hot garbage. And there's wildlife and a Batharian power stone. That could be good if I want to take over this system. Ten energy. Construction complete. Our construction's over and done with. I'm going to start building ourselves another science vessel because I need to start exploring our galaxy. Construction vessel... I want you to move here because I'm going to probably tell you to start building the starbase as soon as we have enough minerals to be able to pull that off. No worries, at the end of this, complete. I will do my best to remember everybody who's here. We need to end up another victim of this expansion of Cybrex. So that is the Cybrex, or at least that is one of the discovery sections here for the Cybrex homeworld, but I'm going to need a level 5 scientist? No, a level 4 scientist before I can actually start messing with it. Star system charted. We don't need energy. And we need minerals, so I actually want you to come here and just enter orbit. And then we'll tie up and build the starbase here because I'm in desperate need of minerals. First tradition, I always take discovery. Discovery as a tradition boosts my ability for finding anomalies, and anomalies are fantastic at making Star sure I actually have an charted. empire. Okay, so you're sitting there, you're sitting pretty. Anomaly found. Research the anomaly. And this construction vessel, build us a starbase, build us an outpost. You will build an outpost when we're ready. 
What do these two planets look like? What's your surface? Two Batharian stones! And another Batharian stone! I could have a ridiculous amount of energy right now if I could afford any of the Batharian stones. Fortuitous event giving us more minerals in that system, so we're probably going to build the next outpost here once I've got enough influence to be able to pull that off. Construction complete. Gain some influence. Federation builders. This meeting surely is a blessing. I want to be on, like, a decent scope with these people. So it's changed a lot in that you don't need to colonize planets and frontier outposts don't cost you monthly influence, they just cost you upfront influence. So you can technically expand as much as you want, but you could just blow up the frontier outpost and claim everything in the system then. They also changed the way wars work. I hope we don't have to get into that during the first, like, two hour segment. Because the first two hour segment is actually garbage, uh, like, actually garbage. Or, sorry, the war, the first early game complete. war always sucks. No matter what we do, it always sucks. It always hurts us, provides us basically no support. Uh, you're gonna go here, Construction enough influence, complete. research. What is the biggest mineral section? It's just a bunch of smaller minerals, so we'll just build on the three stack of minerals. You will build... How far away is the outpost? It's too far away. I'm going to colonize this world, because this world in particular... It outstrips my whole world immediately, and we're going to chew through the cost to move to the tropical world. Is this construction? Uh, we're at net zero, so let's just work on getting mineral... Let's work on getting our energy back up there. And then you can enter orbit afterwards. Organic remains, which gives us updated. another special project. But we'll take a look at, at that soon. What are our two science ships? Technology They're secured. Construction Ooh, research complete. for the engineering facility. Uh, you can research that. Uh, let's get building speed so we don't have to wait. <sighs> that system just gets better and better the longer I look at it. Now we just gotta see is there anything Star fancy on this home world? Situation look updated. Hold up. Wild storms. Physics output, happiness, and habitability. Titanic life for society research, which is what I need. We have a blank in the middle, although instead of the blank, we can dump our home uh, system thing right here to claim the two energy spots, because we don't need food nearly as often in the late game. But I don't want to shoot for an early colony, so I need to lock this down as soon as possible. our home would look like? Oh wait, we found the Infinity Sphere? Updated. Sweet! My curse holds true! We found the Infinity Sphere immediately. Uh, I don't need the survey speed. I don't need the assist research, so we'll get the science division, because I want more research alternatives. I don't like the options they're giving me for research right now. Most of them deal with war. I'm not expecting to go to war yet. Depending on where they build their next construction, I might have to kill them. Can use ideology casus belly against belli against us. Well, at least you like at least you're xenophilic. care if they can declare war on me at any time. I'm claiming this system and they're not stopping me. I need 
need 46 more. Where are you? Build on the next energy outpost here so we can keep a positive energy total. Construction complete. Uh, can we upgrade you? Not into society research, so it's kind of wasted. That is true, but I always have it spawn near me. That is a universal Death truth in this game. Bad. Energy grid. I can get improved deflectors, but deflectors aren't useful. Um, I always have power trouble, so let's get the energy. F let's get energy resolved. All right. Um, you can build a star base, but that leaves a bigger question. How much does it take to colonize again? How much influence does it take to colonize? Because I actually don't remember. Because I might need to start building up influence then. Construction complete. Tactical retreat. What the heck are we being attacked by? Is it their pirates? I hope not. Well, you've done your retreat. That's too weak of a system. Is there something better that I can take over? It is. This is a colony that's only two systems away. But that's still kind of expensive. We're going to go do the colony ship. It's going to be a bad idea in the long run for us. But if I can't build anywhere else... If I can't build anything else, I might as well. Do I want a starbase? I actually kind of... Can I get a defensive station? Oh, I can't build defensive stations. Okay, that's new. Uh, I guess you can head on over here and start building on the energy, because it's going to take a while. Construction complete. And your construction's done, so you can start building on the mineral station there, and the minerals station here. Star system charted. Anomaly found. Research the anomaly. This, by all means, should be a very, very cheap colony. Remarkable. All right. Technology we know that there are theoretically enemies there. I'm just going to go take a look to see if there are actually enemies there. And we'll get automatic exploration because the survey speed is lovely. And we could just set these guys on autopilot and just let them Star have at for a while. Charted. They'll usually make smart decisions. Pathing is still pretty dumb. Alright, what are we facing here? What the heck? Oh, this is the... Uh, I know what it is, I just don't remember what to call it. Uh, return back to base. Construction complete. It's hostile, is it moving anywhere? It's not moving anywhere, so we're not going to be able to claim anything just yet. The energy will be underway soon. Uh, is there something I can build on to that'd be useful? Too much influence. Ascension path. Technology secured. Offworld Trading Company does what again? Base cost of this, but improves upon the trading hub. I care not. Planetary unification. Uh, there's three really good options here, but I'm going to take planetary unification because the additional two unity per month will be amazing. Oh no, we're tanking our energy. I'm so scared. We'll get more. Tactical retreat. Seriously? Tactical retreat. Research. Back off, you. Look, I know there's nothing there now. 
You boys just get ready to try to build up. Retreat. I know you're doing a tactical retreat. You don't have to tell me 5,000 times. I'm going to have them in the Kimthar system preparing to go to Ekio as soon as it appears. Construction complete. Track on map. Scientist to skill 3. Where is this moon impact? Research the project. And then finish up your survey in these locations. Alright, see? Nothing's here. Sorry, you're here kind of faster. So build ourselves a starbase outpost. Move our fleet back to Wulhaba. To dock. And we'll have these two combined together into a fleet that's actually capable of taking on some stuff. Maybe even taking on whatever the heck that thing's called. I don't honestly remember. We'll research the Epsilon aliens. Space Amoeba. That's what their name was. Why couldn't I remember that? So you finished researching Apon. Let's research this local cluster and see if there's any other aliens nearby. Or if it's just us lonely sods in this corner. Because I might try to, like, subsume him. Governor gained a trait, developed new skills, architectural interest. I haven't looked at our governor in a long time, so let's take a look. Special governor. Project complete. Marvelous. All space wildlife tend to be extinct, except for ridiculously powerful space wildlife. Alright, what the heck is our governor's architectural interest? Building cost, building base speed. Okay. We'll hub a surface. It's almost done. We can start working on the temple soon. Birth of space piracy. You two can merge together. And let's get ourselves a admiral to use with this fleet. You might be in the middling age, but your aggressiveness is appreciated. All right, where are the space Final pirates? Cleared. I should say, where are the space pirates? You move to the science area, and we're going to have you build a temple there. Not a stronghold, a temple, which will put us at negative energy for now, but when these, this is finished, we'll be at positive energy again. You can move into Ekio. Star system charted. There we are. Space pirates. We outnumber the space pirates. Let's go kill the space pirates before they start destroy doing some dastardly deeds. Such as damaging under attack. How such as damaging our newly spawned planet. Complete. Researching this is bad. Killing it is good. Because that killing it gives the speed boost. Attacking enemy assets. Oh my gosh, why did you attack their spaceport? You're supposed to save our homes, one of our new home systems. Not attack their base. Construction complete. Stars yes, excellent. Charted. We know it's being raided. You guys are leaving our shipyard to die. Oh, never mind. They're actually going to lose their military fleet. I was about to complain, but I guess I have no right to complain at this point. Uh, let us build on the four energy system, just to get our energy in line. You can build a research station, because I want some more society research going. Is music too loud for you all? It's a bit loud for me. Negative energy, hostile fleet, construction's complete. Let's go defeat. Wait, are you just sitting there? No, good. Star system charted. Alright, you guys can go repair. Good job in clearing out the space pirates. 
So you're almost done. As soon as you're done, I want you to head over here and research the debris that should be left behind. Oh, there's no debris? Hmm. Never mind, I thought there would be. Construction complete. How strong are we? 414? Is there station building? Yeah, it's building one more Corvette. We'll take one more Corvette and we're gonna go deal with that. That monstrosity. Hold up. We're gonna need more energy. Well, we're gonna need more energy in the long run, but as of right now, we can spend our time building some more mining stations. And let's take this battle group and cut off the amoeba in Aknar. It's probably in Aknar. Situation local if it's updated. not in Aknar, we're going to hit Distol and see if it's still there. Because I do want to kill it. Physics. We'll get the administrative AI to improve our research speed. Research is king, and it reduces the cost of all research. Alright, there was one system here that had plus five minerals. We'll take it. Everything else... We have enough minerals to do this. Just build all the mining stations. How's Woolhubba going? going quite well. Oh no. What scientist has arrested development? What are you- okay, you're doing surveys. Spark of genius with arrested development. I need to keep you around because spark of genius- oh, good night, Temmie. Spark of genius is amazing to have on a scientist, but Arrested Development makes him basically worthless for anything except just sitting around in my science division. I might need to consider replacing him soon. Cesar Prime's about Special to pop. Project complete. Okay, we got one Cybrex artifact. Alright, fleet. The amoeba should be in the right. Or to the right. Let's see how lucky we are at dealing with the amoeba. You're heading on over. Can you actually build the outpost? Yes, you can. Good. Okay. I'm finding the amoeba. Welcome back, Bat Ray. As you can see, we've kind of expanded well against our neighbor's borders. And we are probably going to go to war. Probably. Just is a matter of time and who's willing to tick the other off first. Star system charted. I doubt the amoeba hyperdrived away. That would make no sense for it to hyperdrive away. It doesn't even have access to hyperdrive. can't do you yet because I don't I want society research on Special you project complete another cyberx artifact complete. you're built can I order you to build the research stations you you don't have arrested development so you can eventually be made useful No, let's hit the battle debris first. And then I'm going to have you just survey these systems here to see if we can get lucky. Surveying black holes are always interesting because you never know what you're going to find. You might even find a ton of physics research. Just out of nowhere. Alright, where's the amoeba? There we go, we found him. Alright. This might be a fairly big ship. But 12 Corvettes should be enough to take care of him. Let's hope we get lucky. So we now have Cesar Prime. How do I make you my homeworld? 
Can I, like, move my home world here? Or do I have to destroy the home world section to change it to something else? I think I'll have to wait for a few pops for- wait. Oh, I'm missing- I can move it, I just need a lot of influence. Alright, we'll wait. Attacking enemy vessels. 